One of the most common questions I get when I'm tutoring students in economics at this time of year is how to calculate and do the algebra behind the equilibrium of supply and demand. So let's do a really quick video to show you the four easy steps to make sure you don't get that question wrong the next time it shows up on a quiz. So let's look at a problem. When the instructor gives you that quantity demanded, which we're going to represent as QD, is equal to 26 minus 2P, and they give you that quantity supplied, which we are representing as Q sub S, is equal to 2P minus 10. And if the question is finding the equilibrium, price and quantity, what we are going to do is we are going to use a four-step process. And if you use this four-step process, you're going to get this question right every single time. So let's get started. Step one is you just want to set your quantity demanded equal to your quantity supplied. This is, by definition, what the equilibrium is. It is when quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. So you're going to set that equal. 26 minus 2P is what our quantity demanded is. Set it equal to 2P minus 10. And what we'll notice now is we only have one variable. We only have price left over. So our next step, our step two, is going to be to combine the like terms. And what I mean by that is we want to say we've got 26 minus 2P on the left, 2P minus 10 on the right. I need to get my P terms together and my constant terms together. So we'll do some basic algebra here. I want to add 2P to both sides. If I do that, these P's over here on the left are going to cancel. I'm left with just 26 on the left-hand side. I have 2P minus 10 plus 2P. That means we've got 4P minus 10 on the right-hand side. Now, we still need to make sure that we combine our constants. So let's go ahead and add 10 to both sides. We add 10 to both sides. And now on the left-hand side, we have 26 plus 10 is 36. And on the right-hand side, we have 4P minus 10 plus 10. So those 10s will cancel. We're left with 4P. Now that we've combined our like terms, our third step is going to be to get P by itself. Right, so we're going to get P by itself, and right now we have 36 equals 4P. And the way we're going to do this is if we have 4P over here on the right, we need to get rid of that 4, and the way we do that is we divide by 4 on both sides. So these 4s will cancel and become a 1, so we're just left with P, and that P is equal to 36 divided by 4 is 9. Right, so we know that the equilibrium price in this example that we just gave is equal to 9. I'm going to make this a little smaller just so that we can fit our fourth and final step here. And the reason why we have this last step is remember the question was asked for the equilibrium price and quantity. We only have the equilibrium price. So let's go ahead and find the quantity and the way we do that is we plug into the original equations. And let's just plug them into both just so we can show that this is the equilibrium. Usually you only have to plug into one to get your answer. So quantity demanded is 26 minus 2 times P, but we know P is 9. So this means that it's 26 minus 2 times 9 is 18, which means that my quantity demanded is 8. What about my quantity supplied? Well, my quantity supplied is 2 times P, which I know is 9, minus 10. Again, this is 18 minus 10, which is 8. So we found that quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied, which is equal to 8. So there you have it. Given these two equations up here, quantity demanded equals 26 minus 2P, and quantity supplied equals 26P minus 10, we can go through a four-step process to make sure that we find the equilibrium price 
that leads to an equilibrium quantity, where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and like as I put out more content related to learning science and economics as a whole. You can also check out another video where I have similar equations and we go through this process, but we also graph them. Hope to see you next time.